right. Good afternoon guys and welcome to Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today what we're gonna do is troubleshoot and fix this fluorescent under cabinet light. Process is pretty much the same for um, most fluorescent lighting that has a ballast. So they do make a tester that will test to see if this ballast is bad, um, but I do not have that. So we're going to do it a little bit of an old school way. Um, the first thing you want to make sure is that your power source is coming in. Um, as we can see, the light is lit up, which tells me you have 120 uh, volts between here and here. They do make 240 and 277 and 480 volt lights. This one is a 120. Um, it is a residential uh, fluorescent light. So I know the power is, is coming in here because this ballast is on and working. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this light out and switch it and see if it works over there. See how this one lit up a little bit? It tells me that more than likely this ballast is bad um, because it, it switched its power a little bit. So I put this in there, it tells me it works in here, which tells me this ballast is bad. The next thing we're gonna do is check these tombstones here and here to make sure we have solid connections. So I'm gonna shut off the power source real quick, which in this situation is a switch. Um, and I'm gonna give these blue wires right here a tug to make sure they're in there nice and tight, which they are. And then these that are tied into this tombstone side, give them a tug also, they're nice and tight. Then I'll look inside of the tombstones and they're nice and together. There's no huge gap or they're not broken. So I know that that ballast is good or is bad, excuse me, because all of our other components look nice and solid. So the next thing you'll do is you'll go to this ballast and on the ballast itself, there's going to be some serial numbers. The serial numbers are gonna be right here. We are then going to order a ballast that has the same serial numbers. And if it's a two lamp, you'll wanna make sure that it says on here, it'll say two lamp ballast, give you the catalog number here. And then it will also tell you what type of uh, lamps it will take. Like in this one, see how it says F, 13T5, that information, that information will also be on your lamp. So you want to make sure that your lamp has the same, you want to make sure that your lamp has the same information that is on the ballast type, because that can make it so it's a different voltage that this, it's converted to to make this lamp start. So um, what I have to fix it is I have the ballast, a couple new lamps, and we do need to add a quick disconnect for the lighting per code in 410-130G, I believe it is. Um, it says any fixed fluorescent luminaires that do not have a disconnect in it need to be have one added if you're doing a ballast changeover. So we're gonna add this in, which is super uh, simple, and then uh, change out this old one. So the first thing we're gonna do, verify that the power source is off, Take my tester, getting no load, we're good there. So I'm going to disconnect. You do have to be careful in, in maybe a larger uh, facility setting. If you have what's known as a multi-wire branch circuit or more than one hot sharing a, a neutral. So two hots or three hots depending on the system. Here I know it's not that because uh, it's a wire in, wire out and two neutrals. Now, if it's wired hokey, um, it definitely could have load on the neutral and you do not want to open the neutral with load, but we're good to go here in this situation. So I'm going to undo my neutral first, take him off. I'm going to undo my hot, take him off. And then we're going to, when we add these, you need one lead. Here I have two leads. So what I'm gonna do is if you see on that, it, it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and you can see one side says black, one side says white, and they don't have a line or a load, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put one in here and the other in here, and I'm gonna take this piece off, I'm gonna tie in my 
in neutral first, neutral which is the white wire. Put it a little bit ahead of it, make sure I'm tightening it nice and down so it starts to twist a little bit and then pull on it so I know that it's in there. Then do the same thing for the hot wire or the black wire. Make it so the wire is leading the, the top wire just by a little bit. Twist it on there nice and tight until it starts twisting with the wire. Now we're meeting code, we're good to go there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is replace the balance. I'm going to remove this light so we don't have any accidents. I have to clean up glass, which sucks. Um, and then I'm going to cut these wires. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of them to work with. So that it's coming off of this tombstone because I do need a little bit of wire to make my splice. Cut these. I'm going to cut all the sets because we, we're getting rid of those completely, or this ballast completely. The next thing I'm going to do is take him out. Okay. And these screws will then go into the side of this through those holes right there. But first, or excuse me, that's the old ballast. It'll go through these holes and we're gonna junction these wires with the old wires. So the only thing you have to watch out for in here is if you see there's two different sets. So one set has to go to one side of a tombstone and then it's got to have a blue from the other side as well as here and here. So these are already stripped out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to strip all these wires, strip them back about half an inch. And then I'll put the, the disconnect on here. So we're done there and done there. Then I will mount my ballast, get one side, and tighten down that side, and then back to the other side. Make sure it's nice and tight, but you don't want to strip it down. Then we will take one set, and you kind of want to make this a little bit clean. So what I'll do is I'll send these guys over to the far side off the top because it makes it easier to route my wires. And this doesn't matter as long as they're tied together. So I'll twist them by hand first and then let the wire nut do the rest of it. You don't want to put too much force on it because you can break those wires fairly easy because they're small. Then I'm going to do the same thing, twisting them to get them started, make sure they're good to connection. Like I said, I want to make sure that this red connection coming off the ballast is out of the same connector that the blue side, the other side, which is blue, is going to be connected to. Because if not, um, you will have problems. So we're going to do the same thing here. Get them started, nice and tight. Connect them. You can feel when it gets strained and tight. It's it's a little bit more resistance than initially. Do it for the other side. Then we're going to send these wires over here to the red side and complete it for both things for the same side. Get them all nice and tugged. After we tighten them all, make sure they're good. All right, now I'm gonna do the very last ones. I'm gonna kind of fold them so they go together easily. I'm gonna stuff them back in. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is kind of wrap them around themselves so that they go in much smoother. I'm gonna hook you up. Hook it back up here. Make sure it's nice and tight. And it'll close up in there easy. Makes my life easier when I close this. 
and then I'm going to make sure none of the wire nuts are in the way where wires are being pinched and then I'll snap it back in make sure nothing's being pinched over here either okay then I'll put my bulbs twist it so it makes a nice solid connection and then I'm gonna turn it back and then I turn it back on I am gonna replace this bulb because as you can see this this one's nice and full but this one's a little bit dim it's it's lost a little bit of gas internally so we'll take him out and put a new bulb in make sure you hear that click or you feel it and uh, it may pulse a little bit, but that's just the gas getting to the right temperature. Um, yeah, so that's how we change ballast for fluorescent lighting. Thank you.